Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I'm your host, Matthew Horky. Whoa! So today, uh, Shireen and I are actually leaving Croatia. It's, you know, it's August. We've been here for about three months, finishing up our book, Cracking Croatian Wine, a visitor-friendly guide. For all of you that have purchased it, thank you so much. I'll put it in the description box. We put our heart and soul into it. And tomorrow we're actually leaving Croatia, so it's a little bit uh, emotional, but <laughs> we're ready to rock and roll. I'm going to talk about a winery that came up fairly late during our research process, but luckily we got the chance to taste them, and one of the wines actually we included in the book. And I'm talking about Krij Winery. That's what you have here. Now, interesting story. They're on the Pelješac Peninsula, and that peninsula is just famous for Plavitz Mali, because that's where the Dingech and the Post of Appalachians are. <clears throat> Very beautiful place. This is a small producer, only two hectares, farms organically and biodynamically. Shireen, I can't remember, you have to help me. Are they, I, I think these are the first Plavitz Mali that are biodynamically farmed. Did, that, that's what I read here. Uh, let's talk about some other wines, including one that we tasted and we enjoyed immensely. This is the Krij Gurk 2016. Macerated for about a week. Uh, this is on the skins for about a week. Uh, barrel fermented. No sulfites added. Interesting wine. So Gurk is a grape, if you watch the show, you know we like very much from the island of Korchula. Uh, it means Greek because apparently the Greeks are the ones that brought it over or started planting it. Interesting grape, very small, produ uh, small, small production. Krij actually planted some Gurk on the Pegasus Peninsula, and they wanted to make tradition Dalmatian white, so they made a macerated wine. This wine is extremely hard to get. Thank you, Krij, for making sure that we got a sample. Uh, Shireen, anything that you, anything that stood out about this? macerated wine that would make you think that Gurk is such a good grape for this style of wine? Well, based on this one example, the Gurk offers this pretty big body, very nice intensity of fruit that you typically get from every single good wine that we drank. Yeah. And on top of that, the acidity is not too high, not too low, just really perfect, um, you know, hovering in the background, very nice, refreshing notes. I agree. So uh, it's young. It's 2016. I agree with what you said. What was cool about this is with the macerated wine, sometimes you get too much dried fruit. This, I still tasted a lot of ripe peach, and the acidity was great. I was quite high on this wine. These are wines that we still have yet to sample. This is their entry-level Plavitz Mali. This is a Krij Tritza from 2015. And this is their more... Uh, I guess their higher end wine. This is the Krij Plavitz Mali from 2015. We will be tasting and writing about these wines. We're really excited. We're we're going over to Belgrade, and it's cool. We got some we got some goodies, some goodies to be transferring the wine. Uh, thanks to our friends at Lazen, uh, they gave us some of these wine protector sleeves right here. These kind of like this. The one that I like the most is probably this red one. I don't even know. It just says bottle. <laughs> this is a cool one. I like this because uh, with these kind of sleeves, the stickiness wears out of all, all uh, wears out over time. With this one that Lausanne sent us, uh, you just sit, put the bottle in like this. You roll it up, and then you button it up. You don't have to worry about any leaks. So I'm excited to be trying these out. We've already tried them out uh, going coming from Slovenia to Croatia. I think these are awesome. I'll put the link in the description box. If you travel with wine, a lot of times I think stuff like this is a good option. So guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel. I will see you in the next episode.